Here's 10 life-changing inventions that you can thank Australia for. Thanks to our ingenious invention of the polymer banknote, not only do our banknotes last longer, they're totally waterproof, virtually unterrible, and have that many security features, they're considered impossible to counterfeit. These include the ability to print super vibrant colours, microprint, clear windows and braille for the visually impaired. It's no wonder we've started making polymer banknotes for more than 20 countries around the world. We'd all be lost these days if it wasn't for Google Maps. But did you know the whole thing came from two Aussies and a couple of their Danish mates? They created a mapping application back in 2003 called Expedition. And within 12 months, a deal was done directly with Google co-founder Larry Page to acquire the company and turning it into the mapping juggernaut that we know today. That big inflatable slide on the side of a jumbo jet? You guessed it, they're Aussie. The inflatable escape slide was the brainchild of a Qantas employee and are now a mandatory bit of kit on every big passenger jet. The slides are also able to be detached from the aircraft and used as flotation devices if necessary. Here's hoping we never have to use one. There's nothing better than seeing a Formula One, NASCAR or V8 supercar flying around the track from the driver's perspective. But you might be surprised to know that the Aussies were the first to do this back in 1979. Australia's Channel 7 introduced live feeds from racing cars. This has now been adapted across most sports, giving viewers the best angles to immerse themselves in the action. I'm tipping you're probably watching this while connected to Wi-Fi, right? Well, that's Aussie again. In 1992, John O'Sullivan, along with the CSIRO, developed Wi-Fi technology, which is now used by billions of people across the globe every day. As a result, the CSIRO hold key patents for Wi-Fi technology and reap millions of dollars in royalties each year. The first artificial pacemaker was developed in the 1920s by Australian doctor Mark Lidwell and physicist Edgar Booth. First implanted inside the body in the 60s, more than 3 million people around the world are now continuing to enjoy life with the assistance of a small electronic charge to regulate their heartbeat. With almost one in every home, the electric drill was first patented by Australian electrical engineer Arthur James Arnott along with his colleague William Brain. Their invention helped speed up the construction process and the technology has now been adapted to a range of handheld tools from angle grinders to sanders. The bionic ear, or cochlear implant, was invented at the University of Melbourne by Professor Graham Clark in the 1970s. The device is implanted into the head to aid in hearing by electronically stimulating the auditory nerve. The bionic ear continues to change the lives of many deaf and hearing impaired people across the world. You'll find two black box flight recorders on every major passenger jet, recording all the action inside the cockpit throughout the flight. They were an idea from an Australian scientist, Dr David Warren, who'd lost his father in a plane crash. The black box has since gone on to clarify why aircraft have gone down and helping to improve safety over time. Eric Favell was the Australian behind the self-construct kangaroo crane back in the early 1960s, also known as a tower crane or leaping crane. The kangaroo crane structure hydraulically raises the tower, allowing another piece to be installed and so on. Both the enormous Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur and the Burj Khalifa in Dubai were built using these. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about Australia, you can check out our latest video right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe.